Here we go then, season six of this West Indies rebuilding test cricket on Cricket Captain 2024. And for the first time, I've been I've been struggling. And I've been thinking about it. I was like, we've not had any easy games. We've not had any easy series. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to change. I could eat these words. Two test matches against Zimbabwe, two test matches against Ireland, three against South Africa, and two at home against Afghanistan. Nine test matches in total, and a fantastic opportunity for us to win some series. We did finish strong last episode, we're five points behind Bangladesh. We've got the number 13 best batter in the world, and also the number two now, a best bowler. But you've really got to be thinking, this is the time, this is the opportunity, this is the moment to secure yourself a place in this team for this episode, and for the future. Okay, and the changes we're going to make... Peters is out after a, a just a hugely disappointing last year. Came in full of promise, full of beans, full of gumption. Uh, his domestic average was very reasonable, but his Test match average was was not. So he's not forgotten. He's just put on the back burner. Wright's coming in. Kingsley Wright, 24 years old, 31 days to his name already, in an average of 30. It's probably a where his ceiling's at, which isn't great. Um, but generally, over time, an average of 60 the year before that. He looks like a decent player to me, averaging 49. Also, I've been scouring, trying to find a bowler that gives us some decent bowling with some bat. And we've stumbled on this guy. Average of 23, 40 wickets from the one season that he's played. That's a pretty decent record. 28 years old, 22 on dayers, but an average of 21 with the bat. It gives us two spinners. We go quite... We could drop a player. Like, that's three spinners. We don't need spinners. So we could do that and retain Peters in the team, which is exactly what I'm going to do. It drops Hope down one as well. Um, we've got to win this. There's no two ways about it. We're playing against Zimbabwe. This is must-win cricket now. It's game on. 3-2-1. Thorne with five. Gamry with three. Spinners take two in 46 overs. That's... A slight problem. Maybe still not quite got the selection where we need to be. I, I really like the two spin option. Bishop 2 for 72 on debut. Very reasonable. Take a lead of 44. Louis with 167. He needed this. Last year was quiet. Uh, no centuries to it. Only one the year before that. That's a huge knock for us. 58 for Belgrave at 3. Uh, Hope 42. Uh, unfortunately, the additional batting went bang bang as Anderson now batting at seven and Bishop at eight went bang bang. Both got ducks. That's infuriating. We're going to need 300 to win against Zimbabwe. Um, but Dandy, 103 off 188. We had them 5 for 186 and they had another 200 on. Uh, Bishop uh, Anderson just didn't work out. Ned, 4 for 106. Wasn't a good performance from the team. We now need 300 on a pitch that is all sorts. Oh, we're home. 308 for seven. The depth to the batting made a difference. It hindered us with the ball. I felt we needed another seamer in the lineup. Uh, but Hope was 69. And then it looked like all Hope was gone because we were five for 110 chasing 308. And then we had big partnerships. 91 not out for Anderson. He put on 89 with Hope. 62 with Bishop. 47 with Gamroop. A little bit of depth in the batting. I'm actually going to change it. Shamar Joseph is coming back into the team. I bought Bishop in for the extra bat. Average 20. I'm about to take that away. Is that really something I want to do? It is. Anderson at 7. This should be enough to win a series. You would hope. That could have been a lot worse. Thorne gets 5 for 81 and cleans up the tail. They were at one stage 5 for 324 and we bowled them out for 347. Shumba with 107. Uh, they were looking good. Nothing with the spin. Anderson gave us a little bit of stability, but Ned, no wickets. We're 34 behind. Again, we've got to win. Got to win some series. 286 to win. We get 319, shy hope with 100. I also just realised that I didn't tell you about the first innings where we scored 313. Belgrave scored 89, Peters with 50. 286 to win. It's turning remarkably. 
and we've got one first choice spinner. Lost. They knock off 286. I'm infuriated with the performance from the team. It's quite simply not good enough. A 1 1 series against Zimbabwe. The batting wasn't bad. Right on debut, Peters has got to go. We can't be carrying that. 27 average, career average of 26 from nine games. Uh, Kelly Charan uh, regressed back to his original form. Uh, also, the ball was the problem here. The ball was really bad. Let's go to Ireland. We've got to find happier days. It's another spinner, Nathan Seeley, who has come through 14 first-class games, averaging 41 with the bat, uh, which is good. 54 last year, 30 the year before. But he just feels too young. 55 wickets at 29 is something I like as well. Maybe this is the direction we're going. Kevin Sinclair, he's played a test match. Pretty decent average. His batting average is okay. Is he good enough at either format? Uh, quite a bit of change for this series. Louis and Kelly Charon and their Belgraves there. Wright's going to get another go. Uh, we're going to bring in Hilton for a debut. 22 years old. We're full of it. But three centuries. That is a mighty fine return, plus a 49 average in one-day cricket. He could be the real deal. He's going to replace Peters, who's injured in the middle order. Now, we did bring in Kyle Myers. We've brought in Sinclair, who um, was called out, I think, in episode one in the comments section. Uh, he could be a player that we play. South Africa won the Test World Championship as well, uh, which is great because they've broken in, uh, India's reign. Pitch? Well, it's not the sort of pitch uh, that gets two spinners. So Bishop's going to drop out. We could go for Kyle Myers. That gives us three seamers. Or is it better to go for just an out-and-out -out genuine bowler? Because Jaden Seals has disappointed us. Uh, but he didn't play last year. But the year before that, he was pretty good. Shamar Joseph was the opposite. He was uh, relatively average. But I think if we look at something like that, it gives us three frontline seamers, two spinners. We bat down to seven, possibly stronger than we have been. Three and a half stars, uh, not quite as strong as Ireland. Two, two, seven. Maybe should have bowled first. Anderson Hope with a little bit. Belgrade with a 50. Uh, Hilton and Wright, we've got real inexperience at four and five going on here. This is quite incredible. Hilton, 22 years old, runnable, 12. Wright, well... His uh, his go at Test cricket isn't working. Frustrating. They take a 50-run lead, and it's runs down the order. Uh, Doni with 78. I think it was actually last player. No, he wasn't. It was fifth wicket. Now <laughs> Harrison Lang with the last two together, but runs down the order. Tector 70. Uh, Kelt is 50. Like they were six for 186, and still made. A really good score. Ned was fantastic here. Four for 30. Played his role superb. Look at this. I keep having to use my fifth bowler. We actually don't have a fifth bowler. And it's all in the balance of trying to balance the team to get enough bat. Lose by eight wickets. We get rolled for 161. Belgrave top scores with 45 and then nothing. And they knock them off to pick up the victory. All this talk of we could win a few games here feels a long way away. Effectively, we've got a middle order that's not very good. And we've got a tail that is not very good. I can't believe I'm coming back to it. Uh, I think I'm coming back to Kyle Myers again. <laughs> Effectively, what I want to do is have a really good top six, but there's just there's nothing there. Kelly Charon's averaging 31 now. So that's three top six are really poor. Belgrave, passable, Louis... All right, Shy Hope is actually been pretty good for us for a little while. Uh, also, I think Gamroop and Thorne have been good with the ball. Career averages are 30. I'm going to take that. But come on, let's not lose a series in Ireland. And we're going to make the decision to bowl. 315. It's still a lot. Thorne with 6 for 99. I'll take a bit of that. But Camper, 69. Mayers coming in at 9, scoring 74. We had him 7 for 169, and they scored 315. There's such a theme. Oh, my days. We've got 154 on lead, thanks to one person. 277 for Mikhaili Lewis, 
29 years old, three LWW appeals, played in Miss 15 times, beautiful wagon wheel, uh, 277. What a knock. Eight centuries to his name now, and there wasn't much support. Hilton got a first Test match 50. I'm happy to see that. You know, there's, there's something there in the young kid, but I've picked him really, really young. Wright's got a top score, 34 and a 32, so they're not outrageously bad. But the lead is what's key, because... We've lost a whole bunch of time. 1-8-1 to win. They bat pretty well here. 335 again. Runs just spread throughout. Ned picks up a good four. Thorn with three. That's nine in the match for him. But we need 182 to tie another series. And we're going to get some decent weather on day five. 182. Thanks to Hilton. First test match series. He's had a cracking test match. 67 and 71. Not out. Two test matches into his campaign. 250s. Have we found our solution at number four? Uh, Mikhaili Lewis, man of the match. 277 and a 47. An incredible performance. Tie the series. He averages 94. That's that's a pretty reasonable series. Hilton averages 50. Hope 54. Anderson 40 without setting the world alight. Uh, Cali Churn 2.5. The regression, the regression, <laughs> that is some of the worst form you're going to see. With the ball, did Kyle Myers make a difference? Well, he's one for 148, you could say no, but a 2.6 economy rate, I quite like that. I love the economy rate of Ned. Eight wickets at 12 as well, it's just phenomenal stuff. And Thorne had a great series. Three tests away at South Africa, a team we haven't fared very well against. A 2-0 loss and a 3-0 loss against them. On pitches that's got a tiny bit of spin. Just make me question some of our selections, but I think we're going to stick as we are. Don't change a winning team. Kali Charing, you are possibly the worst cricketer to ever achieve 21 matches opening the innings. I've got Makati that could come in for him. A 36 career average sort of guy. Average 48 this year, 39 the year before. He's actually been pretty good. Uh, I think... Oh, am I doing it? Am I doing it? One more test. One more test. I've just got a feeling he's going to come. Uh, good, hopefully. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Spins on. Well, it's not spin, is it? It's actually right on medium that looked pretty fast, but he's gone. 255. It's another 100 for Louis. 102 off 165 here. He was dropped, but some beautiful drives and clips going on in this game. 77 for Hope, and the rest was an absolute telephone number. Top order blown away. Oh, we had him as well. 8 for 75 for Gamroop. He is a genuine cricketer, now averaging less than 30 in Test cricket. We've, we've picked a good one there. Uh, but here it was the partnership Stubbs, Peter. Uh, Engelbrecht really frustrated us towards the end. We are going to take a 36-run lead, though. The pitch isn't bad. But we've got a good lead. We get 3-4-7 without anyone really setting the world alight. 50 for Louis again. He is. Uh, this is the form of your life, sir. Just enjoy this moment. Uh, Kelly Tran, 46, right? 55, first one, second one for him. I'm going to take it. Uh, but runs down the order. Gamroot with 61 to go with his 8 for. Anderson with 43. They need 3 8 4 to win on a turning dick. We've lost. Lost by two wickets. They knock off 3 8 4. Arthur with 100. Coning with 100. We did get through them a bit, but we were hampered because Gamroot is injured. It's just not a good loss, is it? You've played well there. We've played well with the bat, but the bowlers have let us down. Sorry, when I say Gamroop, I mean Kyle Myers. So there goes the bat instability, averaging 17. That's actually quite a lot for us. Uh, and it doesn't look like the sort of wicket that you want to go and employ another batter. Sorry, another spinner. So that's what we're going to go with. Kelleter and you're done, mate. Makati coming in for debut. One nine three all out. Makati top scores. But this spell, Kumalo, he took six. He went Makati, Hilton, right within the space of two overs. Also got Hope. Also got Anderson. Yeah, 111 run lead as well. Gamroop and Seals were uh, pretty decent here. Coning and Stubbs, big partnership in the middle. Really laid us way. We just... There was wickets there, 
but we struggled to make meaningful impact. Spin didn't have any impact in the game, uh, and I don't think it will because it's more of a seam as dick. Crikey, we're 14 for 3 already. Um, yeah, that's a defeat. We've been bowled out for 80. Kumalo with 12 in the game ransacked the top order, and we had no answer. Quite an impressive performance. Just better team doing better things. That's all that's going on. Plus, we're trying stuff. We're trying McCaddy, Hilton, Wright. Uh, Hilton and Wright, you hope, are players for the future. Pitches aren't really suiting our style. Of I'm coming up with some excuses here. Essentially, they're a better team than us. Also, little cheeky Lewis is uh, captain of the team, if anyone's seen that. Better. 167 all out. Thorn, Gamroop, Seals. It only took three bowlers. And there was no big partnerships that floored us a little bit towards the end uh, to bump up their score. But that's a hell of a performance on a decent, decent batting deck. But don't worry, they still get a lead. We get bowled out for 155. There's so many times where I think, oh, we're going along all right here. Two for 108 at one stage. And then it just capitulates. Anderson's form with the bat in test cricket is abysmal. He's dropped down to a 32 average. 294 to win. We fight back quite well here because they were one for 209 and bowled out for 281. Ned gets four, Thorn three, Seal straight. I've been quite impressed by Jaden Seal since I've brought him back in. Some consistency going on. 294 to win. Can we pick up a victory in South Africa? Nah, bowled out. 97 run loss. This is a poor episode for us. There's two draws in the series, but it shows where we are. It really highlights how difficult this challenge is and how many seasons it's going to take. Peters was six. Kumalo did some damage up top. He picked up McCaddy. Uh, but we go down 3-0 against South Africa. Uh, Mikhail Lewis, uh, excellent. 269 runs, a century, 250s, shy hope. Uh, but that's it. Everyone else with the bat was abysmal. We've got such a hole with the bat in general that we haven't been able to fill some of these gaps. Gamroop, Thorn, Seals, uh, Ned with an off series. So a bowling, not bad. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, we're actually making some good ground on teams and our bowling attack is really good. But our batting is so bad, it's keeping us pretty much at the bottom of the established Test Nations list. Finishing off with two tests against Afghanistan. And unfortunately, we're really back in this position where we're trying to find an opener again. Let's look who scored hundreds. Cal Cali Charan, six in first class cricket. That's kind of what you want. We've tried McCaddy. You could, because we actually haven't got anyone ready, loop back around to Chanderpaul, who averages 35, but he holds your team up so much with the slow scoring. I think what we've got to do is try almost the next cab off the rank, which is Perez. 47 average, averaging over 40 year on year. He's got a 51 second team average, which is pretty good. He's 30 years old. Should know his game inside out. Five-star Afghanistan team who, in the world rankings, have overtaken us. We have dropped down to 10th. Oh, man. Ireland are going to cut. I don't even know if I'll ever complete this save. <laughs> got to find a way to win. We're going with a batting dick. We're going to try and establish some of these batters. Other than that, not heaps of change, but debut for Perez. What a performance. 1 2 7 all out. The Gamster. Gamroop 5 4 37. Really, really useful player for us. I keep saying it, but he's only 25 years old. 109 wickets at 29. That average is coming down all the time. There's some good, though. 3 4 3 is uh, probably an average score, but Belgrave 132 bats beautifully. Like I've said before, there's not many chances that he gives away. And in fact, the next save I'm going to do, I'm going to do some analysis on chances. I'm going to record it from the games I play because I feel that gives a good indication to how good a player is. Average of 37, three centuries to his name, 80 for Hilton. Shame he didn't go and get the monkey off his back. But 216 run lead is good. 135 to win. They bat really well here. I made a, a joke that wasn't on camera. They're going, uh, a, a 200 run lead's only good, but they were 200 for none. At one stage, so I was like, it's not really a lead, is it? But Jaden Seals did a great job running through the back end of the innings. 136 to win on a decent deck. I said 137 to win on a decent deck, or 136. Cheers, Perez. 
win by eight wickets. We needed that. Belgrave, 132 and a 65. 45 not out for Hilton. We get home, get the victory. Change of wickets? Batting wickets? Series win. Come on, you can do this. Look at the batting averages this year. Lewis, 57. Belgrave, 45. But uh, Hilton, 32. Wright, 8. Anderson, 27. Hope, 42. 305, and a monkey is off the back. Right, 112 off 171, a great knock. Only two catchable shots in the innings. Takes his average up to 26, but a century to his name means a lot. What a performance, 116 all out. Off the back of the thorn, 6 for 51. 164 wickets at 28.69. We do have a very good bowling attack. Sometimes lets us down. And it's going to be a lot to win. We get 229 right almost. Scores 100 in the first innings, his first ever one. But then 92 was next to last man out. Michaela Lewis with 69. Uh, the rest was absolutely woeful, as what we've come to expect from our top six. But 419 to win. Predictor likes us. Chance of a series win. We've done it. It's a series win. It's a century for right. It's 10 for for Thorne, a 6 for and a 4 for. A mighty fine effort. We keep up our thing of winning a series every so often, but it's not the worst episode. We won four, lost five, but it could have been so much better against Zimbabwe and Ireland. South Africa, sure, we we know that. They beat us 3-0 there, they have beat us 3-0 there, they have beat us 2-0 there. Also, what you like to see is Wright, Hilton, Belgrave, all averaging big numbers in this series, and with the ball, Seals, Thorne, Ned, outstanding. So we're going to finish the episode back in ninth position. Unfortunately, on 69 points and getting further adrift of the of Bangladesh. Batting-wise, Michaeli Lewis is number one for us in 17th. Isaiah Thorne takes the number two hole in the rankings. Ned drops down to 11. And as an all-rounder, Ned moves up to 10. So we are plugging some gaps. But unfortunately for us, the players that we bring in just aren't all that. Right, I feel, is worth a little bit more time. So is Hilton, but averaging 30 is kind of where we are. Belgrade, we've made a move. Lewis, we've made a move. We're heading in the right directions with players like those. But Anderson's dropped off, so all of a sudden, your top six, you've probably got two shoe-ins now that I've moved Hope down the order. The ball continues to be the shining light, though. Uh, sales, great. 20 at 19. Gamroop, 42 at 32. Thorne, 54 at 22 this year. That's wonderful. And Ned with this spin is outrageously good. So that'll do it for today. We'll be back next time. Going into the next season, more data to work with. And we need desperately to find an opener amongst many other things. Till next time.